because Gordon had been at number 11 for such a long time before, for a decade before, I was used to a role of having a you know, husband, a partner who was a political figure um, and had his job and his role. Um, and for the most part, was able to lead a fairly normal life. The move to number 10 was a bigger change than I anticipated it would be because you suddenly find yourself in a spotlight an awful lot more and not necessarily wishing for it. But I could still carry on with a lot of things, but I think I used, I hope I did, I used the opportunity of being there to engage with the opportunity and understand the privilege that I had. Um, which is why bringing people through the door was so important, but also engaging in different campaigns. I took the opportunity to, um, it was a range of things, but I led the global maternal mortality campaign, but I also was involved in campaigns to help bees and to go and visit. Um, I worked with a domestic violence charity. I worked with the Maggie Cancer Care Centers. I was volunteering with a lot of different organizations that could benefit from my being there. Mm. Um, it feels as well, it's a, it's a not exactly a job, doesn't have a job restriction, does it? But at the same time, there's a very particular role that you have to play. It kind of feels that you need to be kind of confident, but not too forceful. I don't know if I agree with that. No. I think it's absolutely not a job. Mm. It is also not a role. There's no official type. You're not a first lady because you're a head of government, not a head of state. Um, and therefore, it, I think it is a difficult place for a spouse to occupy. And I would defend the right of any spouse in that role to do as much or as little as they like. You know, if you have a young family there, as I did, a large part of your time is devoted to that. So there isn't uh, a, a set role or set things that you need to do. So it's there to do something with and create that opportunity. But you're also there at the time you're there. And everything else is going on. The business of government is that priority. And then protecting your family life is, is the other priority. We've... Um I've got a man at the minute, of course, who was the spouse of the Prime mm. Minister. Um, I just wonder if you think any of the kind of coverage of Philip May has been a bit different to some of the women who've gone before him. I think there is differences in the way we talk about um, people in different roles and, and the kind of gendered roles that we give people. Um, I don't think there's much written about um, Mr May's outfits and what he wears, whereas I always felt that I was being asked that question. Um, and maybe things can move on from that in time. I think the purpose of International Women's Day is exactly so we can flag up the issues about those differences and discrepancies. And if we always fall into those very strict gendered roles and, and expectations, then we really don't progress together as humanity.